The Hague is known internationally as the city of peace and justice. It is the home to hundreds of talented individuals, businesses, and international organizations, all striving to create a safer and more just world. And these days, that includes a digital world. In this world, there is an increasing gap between the rapid pace in which digital technology is developing and the design of legal and regulatory frameworks to match. This gap causes issues in accountability. Accountability of digital technology is crucial when it comes to safeguarding the role of the internet as a tool for personal, professional and social engagement. Accountability online is extremely important because it's invisible. Most of us citizens of the world are now equipped with smartphones and apps and there's so much happening that you don't know what's the logic behind what happens. Whether the motives are bad or good is unknown. The ethical parameters are completely invisible. Therefore, we need accountability. And as somebody who has worked in, in the tech sector for now almost 20 years, I realize perhaps more than some that we have a responsibility to deal with what we've helped to create. After all, whether it be positive or negative. We believe at Microsoft that there really is today a need for new laws, new policies to deal with uh, what's happening in technology today. When you think about what we're striving for today, it's really all about striving for digital peace, for digital accountability. What better place than The Hague to have a conversations about those topics? My name is Joelle Castex, and I'm a founding board member of the Zero Abuse Project. The Zero Abuse Project is a nonprofit based in the United States, and we're dedicated to the eradication of child sexual abuse in all of its forms. We're working on an AI project that tracks institutions and their response once they determine someone within that institution is a child predator. It's a very sticky and scary area, and accountability is extraordinarily important, not only for the children in these youth-serving populations, but for the adults who are in charge of ensuring that these children are safe. Therefore, we need to work together on a multinational basis to ensure that there are rules and regulations in place that not only provide accountability, but also equity and access to third world nations who are just now getting on the internet. The Hague and the Peace Palace are amazing locations to have these discussions. They are truly historical places where countries have come together to ensure not only that past wrongs are righted, but that we can ensure safety for future generations across the globe. The combination of The Hague's unique history and its forward-thinking outlook mean that the city is best placed to lead not only the dialogue and debate when it comes to the intersection between technology, law and policy, but also to implement solutions that ensure peace and justice in a digital world.